Once, you could only send a message as far as the eye could see, or as fast as a horse could gallop. But now, the planet is crisscrossed by cables and surrounded by satellites. You can talk to anyone at any time, search the internet, stay in touch. This gallery on the second floor tells the story of the information age, and it all begins with metal wires. So at the centre of the gallery, look out for these huge webs of wire. They're part of a giant radio transmitter that sent messages out from Britain to its allies around the world for over 70 years, starting in 1926. And back in 1912, who could forget the tragedy of the Titanic? Out in the freezing sea, the colossal ship hit an iceberg and began to sink. They couldn't just phone for help. The radio operator Jack Phillips sent SOS after SOS in Morse code, and eventually another ship came to their aid. But along with many others, Jack died in the disaster. Try for yourself what it's like to tap out a Morse code message in the gallery. Fast forward to the 1990s and the early days of the Global Positioning System, or GPS. It uses satellites to work out exactly where you are. But imagine carrying eight kilos of kit to pick up the GPS signal. That's how soldiers found their way in the desert during the first Gulf War. Today, you can fit a smartphone in your pocket, connecting you with GPS, email and the internet. While you're in the gallery, have a look at the computer that Tim Berners-Lee used to write the code that brought us the World Wide Web and linked us all together. What connections will you make in this gallery? Which inventions have made the most difference in your life?